This is a reading of Brenda's blog titled, Stop Directing the Second Wave. Dear ones, Today we address the angst many of you feel as you let go of your need to control the world. Perhaps you laugh at that last statement, for you feel as if your personal world is so out of control, you do not have the energy for global issues. (laughs) Your current angst is much deeper than you realize. You're not frightened about your future, or even your present. For you have surmounted more significant obstacles as you transition from 3D to your current dimension. For eons, you focused on transitioning the Earth to dimensions and frequencies beyond 3D. Even though that role is basically complete, you have difficulties letting go of that control, that focus, So it is you want those in the second wave to create what you believe is right. And you want it now. Any deviation from your blueprint of earth correctness creates ongoing angst of, they don't know what they're doing. They'll mess it up. I better get involved so they do it right. In truth, you do not know the correct way to proceed from this point. You respond that you are fully aware new earth is to be enmeshed in love and joy, so you definitely know how to proceed. What you do not yet understand is that your solutions are based on 3D knowledge. For your focus for eons has been the entirety of the earth, the overall sensations rather than the specifics required to rebuild a new earth of love and joy. Perhaps it will help you better understand if you think in terms of an orthopedic surgeon versus a heart specialist. Both are medical doctors, but neither has the expertise to perform one another's skill set without additional education. So it is for you. You are a globalist in the most significant sense of the word. The second wave, or those now awakened, honed their expertise in the finite details of rebuilding flexible structures, building walls of love. Those in the third and beyond waves are the decorators, adding touches here and there that provide heart warmth. Each successive wave has areas of expertise that will finalize the project for future generations. All you need to know is that your magnificent role in helping create this new earth is over. It is time for you to hone your self-love skills. And resting is step one. For even though your global role is over, you have not yet allowed yourself to accept that such is so. A bit like a mother worrying about her child during his or her first days of kindergarten. You, like all others, are being pummeled with strident energies of love. The sensations you feel as a result of that pummeling seem overwhelming. Not because you cannot internalize those energies, but that you retain the need to use new energies to help Earth, for that was your focus for so many Earth lifetimes. In a sense, you are retired from your forerunner job. It is time to discover a world that does not include your work-a-day schedule. Of course, you want to poke your nose in here and there to ensure your earth is shifting according to your beliefs. But when you do, those in the second wave ignore your suggestions and concerns. Which, of course, only makes you worried that the second wave does not know what they're doing, that your eons of work are for naught. Perhaps you need to remember that those waves following you did not interfere or even understand what you were doing. Allow that second and beyond waves to perform their tasks without your interference. Whether you have yet acknowledged it, your current role is just as intense as shifting the earth. For you're finding that internalizing self-love is not as easy as you once imagined. Self-love is a role, job, in itself. 
the fact that you are trying to find tasks outside of your self-love role should indicate how challenging your new role is. Some of you hearing this message are retired from 3D workaday world and understand what we are alluding to. 3D retirement requires new life directions. So it is, you are in the process of discovering new life directions through self-love directed interests. As is true in 3D, your forerunner retirement can be joyful with new insights and activities or painful with nostalgic thoughts of what was. It is your choice. If you decide to explore self-love in more detail, you will not have time or energy to worry about what the second wave is doing. The second wave is as skilled in their area as you were, are, in yours. The difference is they will complete their task in less time than was true for you as you were a forerunner while fully enmeshed in 3D. Your need to intervene in the rebuilding tasks of the second wave will only slow them down and shift you from your new role of fully discovering how to love yourself. Please know that all is moving according to the plan you help develop, including the flexible rebuilds of the second wave. So be it. Amen.